Hello, Robert. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com and David Michael Designs. Thank you so much for sending in your plan. I understand a lot better than uh, pictures, so it's great that you can send a plan. So I've got your plan in, open here, and you're basically just trying to create a parapet wall, so that's no problem. Let's just take a 3D view of this guy and make sure we can clean up some of the obvious things, um, like the roof. Uh, a lot of these attic walls are generating because the roof just hasn't been pulled over far enough, so we are just going to... Uh, stretch these out a little bit more here and there so it uh, can cut off the wall and give you a nice clean look on those little additions. I guess that's what they are. A little bit of problem there as well. We'll uh, bring that out a bit and then bring that out to try to match it. I'm just dragging it straight out. Now let's go back to the 3D. That looks pretty good. You were talking about the inside walls not lining up. So I don't know if you want to end it up to where the drywall's all lined up. That's uh, sometimes normal, or other times you want the stucco lined up onto the outside. But I'm assuming you want the drywall lined up there. It's like this one, we could be pulled back just a little bit, so it's lined up. If yours aren't snapping, remember to turn on all your snaps. You'll find them over here. Make sure they're all turned on in order for Chief to snap walls together the way that they are here for me nice and easily. I'm just dragging up and snapping that drywall to where the inside drywall is. So everything looks good there. Uh, we'll go up to the second floor and I see that, you, yeah, you did create these uh, soffits, it looks like, for your parapet walls. Now, if I were to take a cross section to just kind of understand how high you want to make the parapet wall, uh, not knowing what your roof uh, joists will be in height, uh, but you have here five foot two. So if we have a foot and roof choices, let's just say you want to go four foot two above. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that here. No, and let's just delete all these silly walls like this. It's saying, hey, you sure you want to delete that? And if you delete, it goes to an invisible wall. If you delete again, it goes back to an attic wall, which is solid. You have your attic walls turned on. Most people have them turned off so they don't bother you. So I'm just going to turn those off. You also have a second floor, but there's nothing on this second floor. So I'm going to delete this second floor because uh, we are making sure we are on the second floor. We don't need it. I'm going to find here. I'm sure one of these is delete current floor. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want a chief to kind of build the second floor the way I want it with the parapet. So I'm going to go back downstairs and now I'm going to tell it to generate that second floor again. So build new floor, drive it over the first floor, yes, even though, you know, I don't really want it on those wings, but we'll sort that out. And then it asks us how high we want to build these walls. And this is the important part that I want to get to. So I'm going to say four foot two, finished off. And I'm going to make sure there's no roof or ceiling or anything like that. So it just throws that parapet on there. Also going to take note to um, B, 216 inches off of D, which is the floor height. Okay, so let's take a little note of that. We can even copy it. 216, ah, we'll just remember it. Click OK. And so there it produced all these little walls that we don't necessarily need. So I'm just going to delete them. And we're going to connect the big walls that we do want. So it makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to delete all this crud, that crud, that crud, that crud. And we're just pulling this wall here and here. And we can also use our reference layer. This is a reference layer to show you from top to bottom. So it looks good there. I'm going to go back to my 3D view. And I'm going to look at my parapet. And there it is. And there's my parapet wall. Now, if you want to stick out further, you can make it a thicker wall because I noticed your soffits were sticking out further than this. But usually parapets are lined up because they're framed up, so they're all the same. Uh, this is just showing your insulation here, which we can cap cover if we want. That's that 216. But first, I'm going to go to the spray can. I'm going to type in here blacktop because I want to finish off something more than actual wood. Make it look a little bit more legit. And also, if I were to select into this space and come over here, I have this make room polyline, and it makes a polyline around the building in that exact shape. I'm going to convert this polyline using my magic button over here to convert to a 3D molding polyline. Click OK. And I'm going to go into my molding style, and I'll leave it this shape. I'm just going to shape it a little different with my inches. I'm going to say maybe three inches high, maybe like, um, I don't know, 14 inches thick, because that wall looks pretty thick. And this is where I can send that 216 to the top or to the bottom. Let's say to the top, 216 inches and hit enter. 
and there it goes it goes right to the top one thing I missed and if I open back up and go to my moldings tab I can say I can uncheck the extrude and see how it's extruding at the building the molding this way we want the molding to be built this way I click OK and it extrudes it and then we might want to lift it up just a bit more um, to 18 there we go so now we have a nice little cap for it kind of nice the what's new in chief 10 which is nice is they do have caps for walls but i still find in a parapet building mode this is probably the easiest way to go about it and there we go i think you have some sort of molding already that you were trying to put around here so you can do this method a lot easier and then select the areas in this uh molding that you don't want displayed to cut around the garage doors if you want to try that next time another way that might be easy to do things like that is you can use um wall material region so see if i did a wall material region like this thin it automatically cuts out for the doors and the windows and i can assign it any color or whatever you want okay so that's been messing with parapet walls here at cheaptutor.com thanks so much robert for sending in your plan hopefully this makes sense to you and if you do now a cross section we can see where we have the framing for the ceiling joists as well as the upper area where you can stand and then if you really want to get technical and slope this area for a drain you can put roof planes in here at a 112 pitch or a quarter inch pitch or whatever you like from one that side to the other and then just put drains on the other side that's if you're submitting to the city and they want to see a detail or cross section for this so thanks so much for watching hopefully you learned something new and i'll talk to you guys again later later much later.